St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. my friends, the Lord be with you. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from three separate donors. The first is Mrs. Olive Marples from Mississauga, Ontario, in memory of her beloved husband, Albert Lawrence Marples, who died on August the 10th, 1997, and for the living and deceased members of their families. The second intentions are for Casey and Joan Potter from Holy Redeemer Parish in Winnipeg, Manitoba, in honor of their 50th wedding anniversary, which they celebrated on Saturday, and in thanksgiving for blessings received. And the third is the Social, the Social Awareness Committee and the parishioners of St. Alphonsus Parish in Kitchener, Ontario. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered for this celebration, we express our thanks. And now to prepare ourselves to celebrate the Eucharist, to indeed be strengthened and again nourished by the gifts of God's Word and His Sacrament, we pause and place ourselves in God's presence, again conscious of our need of God's grace and His mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you send us your Spirit and call us to holiness, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, on the last day, you will present us to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you called St. Lawrence to serve you by love and crowned his life with glorious martyrdom. Help us to be like him in loving you and doing your work. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. The one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance, so that by always having enough of everything, you may share abundantly in every good work. As it is written, they scatter abroad, they give to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. God who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The word of the Lord. Happy the merciful who give to those in need. in his commandments. Their descendants will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. with those who deal 
generously and lend, who conduct their affairs with justice. For the righteous will never be moved. They will be remembered forever. afraid of evil tidings. Their hearts are firm, secure in the Lord. Their hearts are steady, they will not be afraid. In the end, they will look in triumph on their foes. walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My friends, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 